Hey there folks, it's Deep Toonster again, back with some more Wario Land 3. And last time we got, well, our first power-up. It's sort of a power-up, it's the Ground Pound. And we have a few instances back in the first world where we can use that Ground Pound ability. In fact, you can use it in the very first level if I remember correctly. Because you can use the Ground Pound on those frog platforms that kind of weirded me out the first time around. So let's see if we can find where that was. I think it's at the beginning of the next screen. I still have no idea what those uh, blocks up there, like what you have to do to break those. I was thinking an enemy, but you can't pick up enemies. So, okay, here's the frog. Yeah, oh, yep. You can just repeatedly pound him and down he goes. Very nice. And now we've unlocked this door here, which ho hopefully will have the red key in it. Oh, it feels so good to be able to break those blocks now. Okay, there's the red chest. Mini game clear. Uh-oh. So I guess we're finally going to get to see that golf mini game, if that's an indication of anything. Oh, they're really letting you test out the ground pound ability here. And another thing about those musical coins that are strewn throughout the level that we have to collect. Well, uh, I got a nice tip from... Uh, oh, dear God. Oh, your name. Uh, I think it's... Oh, Jesus. Slim8x. I am botching that name. I will put it up on the video. But uh, thank you for telling me that. I don't have to get those coins the first time through. That it's only going to count if I collect them all at once. Because that was going to bug the hell out of me trying to get all those coins. And it was kind of like the bats from Mori Land 2 there. Alright, so there's the key. So we'll try to make our way through that. Kind of curious to see what was over on the left there, though. We'll check it out on the way back. What the hell? That worm's like sucking in air. Is that your grand ability? I like the look on his face when I grab the key there. Oh, you can't break those blocks. What the hell are they even there for? Maybe you can break them later when you get a power-up? Because I remember seeing a block kind of like that in the ground. So I'm guessing if I would have tried to ground pound that, even though I have the ability now, I wouldn't be able to break it. Oh, uh, what the hell? What kind of door is this? Oh, here we go, the golf mini game. So there's what the coins are for playing this game. And it looks like it's 10 coins a pop. Oh, look at that, we get to go down a pipe, Mario style, like I was wishing for. All right, so I was told how to play this quite a while ago, but now I've completely forgotten, so we're kind of just gonna wing it here. Power meter on the bottom, do I wanna aim? Oh, well, you only get one try to aim it, I guess. Is that going to fail me? No, I guess I get to try again. Oh, it counted as a stroke, though. I can see my strokes there on the top left. Let's see if I can get this in the right area now. What What the hell? Oh, dear God. Oh, I have to try to aim it on the right, and then when it comes back, aim it in the red. Like this. Well, I did it pretty poorly there, too. I didn't aim the second part quite right. Jeez, I'm wasting so many strokes here. Okay, that's a good one, right? What? In the bunker? How am I supposed to aim that, man? Jeez. What a poor game of golf. That's like a noob of golf, but it makes sense. It's my first time playing, so... Let's give it another try here. Because I'm guessing it's not going to let me pass that minigame marker that we saw earlier unless I do this. So let's give it another try, shall we? Uh, what? Jeez. You have to be pretty accurate on that second part there. Let's try it again. Okay, I got in the blue, so I guess I accepted it that time. As long as I don't see any bunkers, I'm just going to go full power here. Watch me blindly land into one, though. Ooh. Am I trying to get in that hole there? Kind of looks like a hole, so let's see if we can just do a little bit of power. Oh, what? That's not the hole? Oh, okay. That was a lava pit. That's what. That was my thirst, first thought, but it also looked like the opening of a hole in the ground, you know? Jeez. Well, at least now we know what the hole looks like. I have a lot of t tries on this, a lot of coins I've collected. So we should be good on this. So now in this game, the coins are actually a part of completing the basic storyline, not just getting all the treasures and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Now I actually have a good reason to collect coins and waste 10 minutes of your time. Whoa, way overshot that. How am I supposed to predict? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How am I supposed to predict? Wait, was that the same hole as the last one? Even then, I wouldn't be able to predict when the hole's coming up. See, now it's a different course. Yeah, there's just a certain set of courses. 
Okay, we're in the rough, so I'm going to have to do full power if I want to have any hopes of getting past this water trap. Damn. This is not easy. This is pretty challenging. And look at it come down like a Kirby enemy or something. I'm going to have to give it all my power. Oh, whoa. Um. Okay. All my power again. You can tell I'm not very experienced with this game. Holy crap. I'm looking kind of like you right now, Wario. I'm kind of frustrated here. Why do I keep walking towards the door whenever I come out? I'm just going to play it again. I like a nice campy music here, though. He's got it that going for me. Okay, I think this is the second course, because we had a long trail of... Oh, you... Ugh. So if I have that course again... Oh, wait, I'm not even at par yet. I got a chance. But I got to make it on the next two strokes. So let's... This, dang, if only it went a little bit farther, oh, damn, okay, I only had one more try, I thought I had two more tries, but of course, if you go over par, that's a bogey, and that's no good, apparently, uh, I see that rough there, should I try to short the rough, or just try to go past it, I'm gonna try to go past it, no, that didn't work, maybe there's a way I can scan the field, there's gotta be a way to do that, I don't know, I'm not going to give up. Okay, wow. I could have just used the left and right directions on the D-pad to scan the course. I was going to say, if they didn't give you a full view of the course, this is, like, really challenging. But now that I know that, I'm going to actually get it here if I can get it out of this bunker. Ugh. I know eventually I'll probably get used to the... Jeez, I didn't get used to it there. I have one more chance. One more chance. Come on. Do it. Yes! Yes! Thank you. Alright, so I think that's the worst I'll ever do at that game now that I know... Okay, I should not say that and jinx myself, but now that I know how to scan the cores before I shoot blindly, it'll be a little bit easier to play that. Whoa. Okay, they do actually do something to you. They roll you up in a ball of yarn, apparently. Jeez. I wonder if there's anything past him. I'm kind of curious now. It's like he was guarding something. Well, no, that's the way I came, wasn't it? And got the golf mini game that way. Yeah, I think so. Keep your mitts off me. Ooh, red coin. Wonder if there's eight of those strewn throughout the level. There we go. So yeah, that was pretty fun. First time playing the golf mini game. A lot of failure. Good times. Our treasure is what the heck is that? A pot? A hat? A jar? Kind of looks like a jar. A blue jar. And yeah, we're not getting the... Yeah, it is a jar. Looks like a honey jar that Winnie the Pooh would have. But this one releases noxious gas. Or rain clouds, I guess. That makes sense. And I'm guessing that's going to unlock the next level for us. And boy, I can just bet that's going to be a water level. A town... Ooh, two levels. Should we go to the pond or a town in chaos? Well, I'm kind of stressed out from that last level, so I'm just going to chill out the, at the pond, I think. So I wonder what that thing's for. It says game on it, if I... Let me look. Yeah, it says game above the door. So is that another golf mini game? Actually, I think I know what that is. Because I, I remember seeing what happens when you get all the musical tokens. So, yeah. Probably already spoiled it by saying that, but oh well. So let's check it out, man. Pool of rain. I like rain. It's nice and calming and huge boulder out of nowhere that I can't break yet. Maybe I can break that once I get the same power that will allow me to break those pink blocks. What the heck? How am I supposed to jump up there? How am I supposed to swim across here? I don't really swim. I just do the... You do what everybody does when they're just learning to swim. Doesn't look like I can jump up past. Well, maybe I can jump to this one. Okay, good. I can do. Well, I can't jump up there, though. It's already kind of confusing here. Hmm. Is this. Okay. In addition to being told about those musical coins and how you don't have to collect them all, um. I want to say Slim 8X. I think that's your name. 
but I know it's not going to be. He also told me that sometimes there's a glitch with the Warrior Land 3 ROM to where you can get stuck on a certain part of a level. And you could solve that just by resetting the game. That's going to make things kind of ugh, confusing because I'll have to start a whole nother recording and merge those two videos together when I make the episode. But right now, I'm not seeing really anything I can do. And I don't think... Okay, good, good, good. I can go to the map. That's what I was worried about. Because I thought for a second there the only way to exit the level was to, you know, uh, get the treasure box. But... Of course, that wouldn't be very much fun, because you'd be stuck in the level unless you can beat it. So we'll just go back to that later, I guess. Because I really can't do anything about it. At least it didn't look like it. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. But as long as we have another level to explore, might as well do it. A nice creepy atmosphere going on. What the hell? What that bear shoot out of its belly? Is that a Care Bear? Was it doing a Care Bear stare? Holy cr- Oh! Okay, we got jelly on the ceiling. Shooting out Mega Man life pellets. Guys trying to catch us on fire. This town is in despair or whatever that level name said. In chaos, that's what it was. Oh, there's the red key right off the bat. It looks like these blocks, like, switch. But we haven't found the switch that switches them. How many times can you say switch, man? Ah, oh, I knew that was going to happen. It's box two. Maybe this is where the switch is. Only one way to find out. So far, oh, a blue key. Ah, that's way past what I'm trying to do. This level's already getting really maze-like. Can't do anything about that. There's another door we can go through. Oh, there's a switch. Nice. There's the blue chest, if I ever find out how to get that blue key. But for right now, we're going to go back to where those blocks are and grab the red key. Because... Yeah, we found the red key first here. So there's... Oh! Crap! Jeez, so hitting the switch makes it so I can't get back to where I was. But... I can't get the red key if I switch it back, so I'm guessing the red key isn't the first one you get in this level. So how would you get it anyway? Probably a power-up I don't have. That's gonna be the answer to everything here early on. It's just a power-up you don't have. I can just slide down this ladder. What the heck? Okay. Can't do anything about that, now can we? I hope that's not one of those areas I was talking about where I can get stuck and have to reset the game. Okay, how long am I gonna be on fire here? Kind of annoying, since I can't use fire to break anything. Uh, I was going to see if I can ground pound down the ladder. I can just test it here, and no, you can't. Damn it, I didn't want to catch on fire again. i got to waste ten more seconds here. Out of my way. Yeah, I can't jump up to that top level. At least we got rid of the problem. There's two more problems waiting up on the ceiling for us. So this entire venture was a big waste. Let's see how much more... Oh, I want to see what this Care Bear stare does to you. Oh, it freezes you. It's ice. Okay. So a little bit of a cuter version of the snowman in Mario Land 2. Ugh. Would have to have spiky umbrellas down here when I'm trying to climb down. Is this another debt? No, there's another ladder here. And another Care Bear. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to slide off the building. What? What? Where? Oh, jeez. Looks like there's like... A zip line here. Probably at the top of the building. Jeez. That Care Bear stair really took me down. Yeah, that's not the ladder I want to climb. It's over here. Alright, we're gonna have to keep our eye on that bear. The thing is, he can hit me off screen. I'm not even gonna go over there. There's another one over here, though. He didn't get me. Alright, let's invade this building. Donut Man, he might have been useful, and I just got rid of him. Over here, it looked like... Oh yeah, it's one of those, like, washer things. That's what I call it, I don't even know what you really... Oh, there's the Greek key. Yeah, I don't know what you call these things that you push. They were in Wario Land too, so... You just push it down, I don't know if it's going to be useful for anything, but... It doesn't hurt. What the heck? 
Uh, oh, okay. I guess you just use it to get back to the door over here. But there was another door down here I wanted to check out. Oh, great. Zombies. Well, I just got zombified, so I'm gonna pretty much force to go down this platform here. So now I'll never know what that switch does. Well, maybe not never. There was another washer over here. Why is- it's a stove! It's a stove, not a washer! Maybe if you just look at the sprite for maybe a couple seconds, Toonster, you can deduce what it is. There's nothing down here but a musical note coin, so... I'm just gonna... well, how do I get back up to where I was? Oh, I know. Jeez, I'm gonna have to bring the washer over here. Well, oh, no, no, no! Okay, good. I had some invincibility frames to where I can kill that guy. Well, even if I bring the washer over here, I can't get back up. That's the thing. Hmm. I'm really gonna have to do this the entire way over here. Well, even if I do, I can't... Oh, wait, there's a window. Yeah. Found that out pretty quick. <gasps> Phew. Jeez, try to get me right when I enter the area? Oh, there's another one. There is nothing over here, so... Except for a bear. Alright, so we got the gray key. Just gotta find the chest now. Shouldn't be too far. Maybe it's at the top of the building. There's not really many more areas to explore over here. And here's the zip line. I kind of pointed out the... There we go. Nice. It just rolls you right into it. And there we go. What are you doing? It looks so wrong. What are you doing, Wario? Fiddling your hands while your back's turned to the camera. Nice cog. Or a gear. I don't know if you call it a cog or a gear, or if there's a difference between cog and gear. It's a mystery of mankind. Or at least to me. Okay, so that didn't really help me as far as power-ups go. But I do have one more hope before I start resetting the game and all that. There was another frog platform back in the level in World 1. And, well, I think I'm going to say that for next time because I had quite a bit of trouble in the freaking golf minigame and... Did a lot of searching there in that city. And I think it's this level where that platform is. So we'll do that next time. Thank you guys for watching. See you then.